the cafe your day. Dan, witnesses say it was a scene straight out of a movie as they saw a young man try to elude federal marshals in this Dodge Durango right behind me. They say they saw those marshals shoot him point blank through the windshield, delivering a fatal blow. Witnesses describe a chaotic and violent scene outside of this West Medford Albertson store around 520 Thursday evening. I'm like standing like right there. I'm waiting for my rider to come pick me up. Ricky Castaneda says the dramatic showdown unfolded just feet in front of him. They pulled up right in front of me and then you see the cop cars like, come up and like swarm him and then like they, he uh, backs up and he hits the um, like the pillar right. he hits that and then starts going forward and the cops just start shooting him. Andra was on her way to get her evening groceries when she heard six to seven shots fired. I was just going into the store when everything started happening, and so I hid. She hid behind the pillars. They kept saying stop, and they had their guns out, and he would not stop. This was an arrest situation involving the deceased subject, and there are two other subjects that were with that subject. Medford Police Chief Tim George says U.S. Marshals were trying to arrest the suspect when 20-year-old James Harrison Georgeson tried to flee. The U.S. Marshals Service reporting that Georgeson was wanted for a federal probation violation. The original charge, assaulting a deputy U.S. Marshal back in 2009. I saw Jimmy just try to run. He, he tried to ram them, so they had no choice but to pull their weapons and shoot. Witnesses say Georgeson was unarmed, but Marshals claimed the car was a weapon. He was behind the wheel with two others in the passenger seats. I have no information they're being arrested or charged or being interviewed. That's all that I know at this point. Opening fire in, an, in a parking lot is not protecting and serving. It's horrible. Now, Police Chief Tim George informing us that the, the agencies, police agencies from seven different agencies are on scene at this hour investigating in this Albertson shopping complex. They're collecting evidence from all of these vehicles behind me that are secured within this crime tape area. They are also interviewing a large number of potential witnesses. Now, at a press conference that was held about an hour ago, Police Chief George also informed us that this Albertson store on North Ross Lane was closed at the request of police. Now, ma managers at the Albertsons inform me that the store will reopen at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning.